arms are full of aches and pains The crime rate soaring in your dream Or call the sack So let the happy times begin Cause this is Merton's here again To share the joy that's in her heart Throughout the claim before the end of the show. Well, hello. <laughs> Not much to do people at home, anyway. <laughs> We've been having a small gaining competition whilst we've been waiting for you to switch on and win again. Give her a round of applause. Concentrate, if you can, on my first guest, Pavarotti, Carreras, Domingo. I wouldn't give you a fiver for those three tenors, but my <laughs> first guest, my first guest is worth every penny. Ladies and gentlemen, everyone's favourite, Boy George. <laughs> A big boy, boy. <laughs> oh, aren't you? Bravo. What have you come as, love? <laughs> I should ask you the same question. <laughs> Do you know, you make us happy. You re don't you make us happy? Yes. With these lovely boys. What makes you happy, bearing in mind decent folk will be watching? <laughs> Nice people. Nice. No, That's you, the main too. thing. Yeah, nice people. These are nice people, aren't they? Yeah, some of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, these are big fans of yours. That's Alice, Lily, and Pat. How much no. do you love him? Love. Oh, oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> you look. Sit back, love. Oh, no, it's no, right. Relax. Don't worry, don't worry. Sit back. No, it's okay. No, come on. <laughs> no, sit back. <laughs> Stop bullying me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll bully you. No, come on. Who wants to You were horrible to Paul Daniels. No, oh, what's not? You were, but he's horrible anyway. I hate him. <laughs> First time I ever, ever went on television, ever, yes. was a children's TV show, and he said, You're talentless. I've always hated him. Oh, we hate him now, don't we? <laughs> I thought you hated him when he was on. You were so vile to him. <laughs> a sensitive issue now. Okay. You're gay, aren't you? That's not sensitive as you. Oh, it is to us in the northwest. <laughs> <laughs> what do you gays get up to? <laughs> All the things you do. <laughs> Just with a few less holes, I think. <laughs> I asked for that, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> didn't I ask for that? You know, no, I do sort of know, but I can never sort of exactly imagine, you know, the works of it. <laughs> London thing, isn't it? No. <laughs> Apparently they're beating them off with a stick in London. No, no, there's lots of, uh, lots of queens in the north. Yes? Yeah. Well, you know something? When did you first realise you were licking the other side of the stamp? <laughs> um, when I was about... I think about eight years old. About eight? Yeah. And did you try out girls first with a view to, you know, kissing them and malarkey and stuff? I did a few bits with girls, but uh, no I realised I realised they weren't for me. <laughs> but oh I once read you'd rather have a cup of tea than sex. Why did I know you were going to say that? <laughs> <laughs> no, what? What, girls? <laughs> <laughs> I say every 
be Saturday night. <laughs> but he's more reliable than men. It but, is, uh, isn't you know, it? And it's easier to get, really. It is, isn't it? But you were the first pop star we knew that was gay. I mean, no, actually, Liberace <laughs> was the first one. Bowie? No, Liberace. Okay. <laughs> 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 well, he pretended to be for a while. No, oh, he's messing about, trying to be popular in London. <laughs> <laughs> no, the first one I knew, anyway, and, and a lot of these ladies, Liberace, do you share his love of rings? <laughs> I haven't got any on tonight. I do have a few. No, a few well, I used to wear. I used to wear an awful lot. Did you always want to be famous, boy? Um, yeah, I think I did. Yeah. Did you from an early age? Yeah. Why? Do you love it? I think because I was sort of born in the middle of six kids, so I was needed a lot of attention. I think that's probably the reason. Karma, 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 chameleon. <laughs> that was a lovely sentiment. What was that all about? <laughs> Um, it was about an old boyfriend. You're and was he car? gay as well? Uh, part time. <laughs> part time gay. <laughs> part time, you know. Uh, it was like me saying you're going to get your karma if you don't sort of make up what you make up your mind what you're going to be. He was going to get his what? Karma. His karma. You know, just desserts. Oh, he's just desserts. Yeah, yeah. And did That's he make his mind up? Yeah, he went off with a girl. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but tell me this now. I mean, you know, there's gay men in every walk of life, isn't there? I mean, you only have to look at the, the village people to know that. <laughs> <laughs> in Heaton Norris, where I live, we've got a gay man. <laughs> yeah, and a drive through <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're very cosmopolitan. You're really. catching up, you're catching up. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody in the audience got any gay tendencies at all? <laughs> I think they all have. I think everybody has, haven't they? Bernard in the old war days? Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I had gay tendencies when I was younger. No, I did. You know, I used to be fascinated with Googie Withers. <laughs> you know. Within these walls, right? I think it was the, the name that drew me to her. It sounded sort of so exotic. Yeah, it does, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Googie Withers. Then I met my husband and all thoughts of Googie went by the wayside. <laughs> A friend of mine, Lily, she entered a lesbian look-alike competition, <laughs> <laughs> and she came, she came second to Hugh Scully from Antiques Roll. <laughs> 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 um, do you know, if she hadn't shaved that day, she'd have won it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she was so disappointed. Have you ever? Entered anything you wished you hadn't. Quite a few times. <laughs> How are you? I haven't entered as many people as I'd like to. Actually, I've had a bit of a show. <laughs> well, we've got we've got the channel tunnel now, haven't we? <laughs> no, it's our progress. No, I haven't really had that much kind of um, sexual activity in my life, unfortunately. Really not. No. Why is that? Do you think? I've always been in relationships for about ten years at a time. Well, so. That's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> What do you do of a night time? <laughs> Not such of a night time thing to do. Uh, well, at the weekends, I normally DJ. So I'm, kind of, I'm up north uh, every weekend. DJ, that stands for disc jockey. Marjorie, <laughs> disc jockey. <laughs> do they get fed up of you playing your own songs all the time? <laughs> do they get fed up of Karma Chameleon? I never play any of that stuff. No, people come up and ask for it, though. Do Being they? Being clever, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you play it? No. Yes. No, I don't play <laughs> no, it. No, no. I play that dance music. Dance music. Underground dance music, yeah. Oh, lovely. You know, boof, 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 boof. Oh, boof, boof, boof. <laughs> <laughs> what salmon do you dress on, boy, George? Um, I just dress in the middle. <laughs> I'm going to throw you open at this point to the general public. Who's got a question for boy, George? Who'd like to ask boy, George, a question? Oh, I knew it would be Roy. <laughs> Roy, what would you like to ask? How come you're better looking than me? <laughs> Max Factor. <laughs> Sylvia, what would you like to ask, boy? I, 
<laughs> um, have you had your uh, cut through your religion now? Yeah, Eric Krishna now. Yeah, into that religion now. No, I'm a Vinnie Jones fan. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. So I shaved it off. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> Got great news for you. I know. Yeah, you're coming on in that street for you. I might run. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. He's as soft as you wouldn't believe, really. That's not what you were worried about. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's next for the boy? Don't know, really. Mm. Kind of th at this stage, it's more about just kind of getting through each day and surviving, really. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm happy. How happy on a scale of one to ten? Nine some days. Tonight with all these lovely elderly people. I like old people. So do I. They're no trouble, are they? <laughs> <laughs> do you know, you've made a lot of old people very happy tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, boy dog! <laughs> under our clothes. Any doctor will tell you that. <laughs> but we don't all go flaunting it in people's faces. Nature is, should we let it all swing loose? Let's have a heated debate! <laughs> Would you go nature is, Dan? Well, you never know, but <laughs> I wouldn't like to cook some chips, though. Would you? <laughs> <laughs> You'd be so quick. <laughs> What yeah. about you, Louis? Would you go nature? No, I don't think so. No, it's nicer no. to keep it all if covered yeah. up, isn't so it, Marjorie? Got something decent to show. We haven't, have you? I'm only joking. No, it's lovely. Would you like to see River dance naked, Enid? Oh, I would. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so would I. Who wouldn't? <laughs> Who was the last person you saw naked, Liz? <laughs> How long I tell you? No, come on. Who was the last person you saw naked? My husband. Your husband. Describe it to us. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you like to see naked? By George. <laughs> really? Oh, boy. Look you'd at be, that. You'd be terrified. <laughs> now, Horace, what do you think about Naturist. Well, it's not my cup of tea. I'm a, uh, what do you call it, a uh, uh, collar and tie merchant. <laughs> Although, uh, if you see me this more, uh, afternoon, uh, you wouldn't have seen that. I was uh, at the sauna, which I go to, a public sauna, uh, which I go to in Ashton Underline twice a week. And uh, <laughs> most of the men there are all naked, but there's only men there. Oh, well, that's all right. <laughs> and they're all naked in there. M most of them, in Ashton yeah. Underline? Well, in all public baths, where they have, what do you call it, Turkish baths and uh, saunas and jacuzzis, that's what you can do. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so you, you think it's an OK thing if it's just one sex? Uh, yeah, well, it depends what you're doing. As far as the, <laughs> as far as the, as far as the sauna's concerned, uh, the reason I'm, what do you call it, I'm naked, because you cool down a lot. You cool down and a lot. If you, and if you have uh, trunks on, there's nothing more uncomfortable than wet trunks, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Roy, what do you think of nudity? Well, I think myself, I prefer to go naked myself. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that not surprise us? <laughs> The reason why I prefer to go naked is to save a lot of zip fasteners. <laughs> I seem to get tangled up at times, especially when I've got all of nature. <laughs> Roy, it's BBC One now. We're on. <laughs> Boy, what about you? I've been to saunas, the one like the ones he's talking about. Horace. Lots of men. Have you? <laughs> 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 I don't remember. <laughs> Can I ask Boy you George, I think uh, I've probably been to some of the saunas in London that you've been to. <laughs> <laughs> I only go to public ones. I don't go to the, you know, the privately run ones. No, in other words, no, public <laughs> ones. They're run by, they run by, what do you call it? In other words, run by the corporation. <laughs> And uh, one which is a great one is in, uh, is in West Ham. Have you been to Rom that one? Uh, Romford Road. Romford. <laughs> and you, yes, and it's, uh, it's normally, uh, what do you call it, steamy, and you, and you sweat like hell. <laughs> and you're supposed to have a cold shower, but they don't do that now. 
got to be what it's got to be wrong. I can't stand the cold shower. <laughs> Asking the things shrivel up. <laughs> uh, uh, th th this is honestly true. Uh, oh, uh, the, th the point is, this is this is actually a bad day. I know you're going to laugh, but it's a hundred percent true. I've seen uh, somebody die in a sauna in Manchester many years ago, and he and believe me, it's a terrible sight after ten minutes when they bring him out. <laughs> I actually, what he could, I was the only one with him in this sauna box. And he, and he, was, he was, he was, he was, he was, talk, he was acting, talking daft. And I thought, I, I thought he, he's a head case, so I went out. Uh, after about ten minutes, I heard more uh, sounds, and uh, I saw where I was. And somebody else went in and said, "Oh my God, the bloke in there is dead." <laughs> The police, they brought the police in, <laughs> and the police treated us as though I'd done him in. <laughs> <laughs> What's the debate about? <laughs> oh, nature is. Yes, nature. Um, yeah. A friend of my husband's, he used to go, Arthur Capstick, he was called, but he had to cut his holiday short due to an unfortunate incident in the relay race. <laughs> as you can imagine. <laughs> now they're all naked and everything. Dorothy, would you go nudist? <laughs> well, let's face it, the sun would go in if I went naked. <laughs> you know, I think you've got a lovely pair of bosoms. <laughs> you're a great nudist, you really would. Now, we actually do have with us tonight two naturists who are disguised in everyday clothing. <laughs> Where are those barn pots? <laughs> Is it you two at the bar? Yeah, yeah, yes. What's your name? Ken. Ken? <laughs> and Brian. And Brian, and you're naturist. Oh, aye. D too true. <laughs> yes, lovely way of life. What is it that appeals to you? What is the, the one thing that sticks out? <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's a marvellous sense of freedom, relaxation. You, all the stress goes away. There's no status symbols, so everybody can just be themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, do you sort of organise events or do you let your members hang loose? <laughs> <laughs> Both. <laughs> do you see, so where's Sylvia? Do you see Sylvia there? Wave at them, Sylvia. Well, it was a wave. She went to a nudist colony once, you know. Oh, yes. And she definitely took a cardigan off and a petition went round. <laughs> but I'm going to say a serious word now, and it's a medical term. Penis. <laughs> <laughs> Penis. It's a medical term, isn't it? You know, let's all say it. Come on. <laughs> Penis. Penis. Come on. Penis. Let it out. Come on. Penis. Let me come down the front row here. Say it. Penis. Penis. Don't be scared of the word. Don't be scared of a penis. 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 Who's having the most fun here? I think me. After three. One, two, three. Penis! <laughs> okay, let's do a chant. Penis! 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 Come on, boy, George! Penis! 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 Now, anybody watching now? Did you think it was Channel 4? <laughs> well, that's nature is sorted. <laughs> Give yourselves a round of applause! penis <laughs> behind you now <laughs> as you welcome my next guest the soccer nutcase Vinnie Jones <laughs> Hello, 
I suppose all the bingo arms are shut tonight, haven't they? All the fans are you doing okay? Yeah. Oh, I've okay. seen you chewing toffee in the green room. All night she's been chewing toffee. What are you giving Mrs. Merton some? <laughs> when it's my show. <laughs> It's lovely being here. It feels like in my nan's house. <laughs> <laughs> so, George, boy George and I were talking quite openly about sexuality. Have you had any gay tendencies, Vinny? <laughs> Only with Gaza. <laughs> You grabbed his ghoulies, didn't you? <laughs> what was that about? Why did you grab what? his ghoulies? Gaza? Oh, he was being a pain in the arse, so I thought it would be a pain in the front of his arse. <laughs> in the forties, my husband had the same thing happen to him, but that was in a post office. <laughs> and there was a war on. <laughs> and people grabbed what they could. <laughs> I've got a lovely story. In the war, uh, on Christmas Day, and this is no, no mess, it's a true story, they all stopped fighting and they had a game of football. Do you, do you know that story? Yeah. But you stopped playing football and have I a game of football. started fighting. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you what always people scrapping? Don't Why are you always scrapping? Because people don't realise my first manager of football was Dave Bassett. Bertie Bassett. <laughs> no, one of his younger brothers, David. He said to me, I've got this player from non-league football that will take the violence off the terraces and put it on the field. And that's you. And it, that's Dave Bassett, thanks very much. <laughs> Have you ever played a full game? <laughs> well, <laughs> the only time I did was about two years ago when my little sister brought me Game Boy. <laughs> and I played Game Boy for about... No, but I'm like minutes. you, Vinny. I mean, I couldn't be bothered running around for 90 minutes. You know, um, you get the same money if you go off, don't you? Well, the, <laughs> the thing is, see, the smart people go into the showers early because that's when they're off. <laughs> Do you have a like... wee in the bath for a laugh? <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, I get, that's why I get sent off. I can just wee in the bath. <laughs> the boys come in and say, oh, we've got yellow bubble bath today. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going, yeah, lovely. <laughs> You're so gross, Vinny. <laughs> Do you think Wimbledon prefer playing with ten men? Do you know, this is a fact, actually. We haven't lost when I've been sent off. <laughs> so when we get in trouble at the end of the season... You just... I just... Try uh, and get sent off. Well, the referee has a lot to do with it, Mrs Martin. <laughs> But did it start at an early age, this compulsion to chin everyone you meet? <laughs> yeah, I think... <laughs> yeah, I can't remember that far back. It must mm -hmm. have. It must have, yeah. What did you do before you were a footballer? I used to uh, carry bricks for people to build houses. Did you? I can imagine you doing that. I really can. I can imagine you there, happy as a sandboy, breaking bricks with your head. <laughs> Breeze blocks. <laughs> Breeze blocks. The great thing is, if this football lark doesn't work out, you can always go back. People always want bricks carrying, don't they? Yes. <laughs> but I'm okay because I've, uh, I've just got a part in a movie. So. Ooh. Ooh. What movie? Pardon? What movie? No, you're not getting no exclusives, Mrs. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no one's interested. No. <laughs> <laughs> Ambition to be sent off in a World Cup final. <laughs> no, I play for Wales. How could we get to a World Cup final? Cool, because you're so Welsh, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Who is the nicest person you've punched? <laughs> I don't know. I wouldn't hit anybody your age anyway, Mrs. Martin. <laughs> do you like elderly people? They're no threat. Do you know who I love? Who do you as love? much as my wife is my man. To be honest. Your nan. I do, I absolutely. My nan told me when I was a kid that uh, the only thing she wanted from her grandson, my nan's got 
32 grandchildren. And she always said to me when I was a kid, the only thing you do for me is when you get old is you look after me. So that is my uh, main prerogative in life, really, looking look after, after my nan. nan. Give him a round of applause. Come on, kids. How lovely. No, I do love my nan. Have you ever played a match with Pele? <laughs> the Brazilian number 10? No, I don't really get to the number 10s. I start from the 2s, 3s, 4s, and then I'm normally off. <laughs> what do you do to relax, Vinnie Jones? Vinnie Jones, to relax, uh, feeds his uh, cows and his sheep. I love my animals. I work with animals, and I go home to animals that don't talk back. Anne, are you still scared of him? <laughs> Vinnie? Yeah? No, I'd like not? to ask him something. Did you learn to act on the football field? Because I'm sure a lot of them do, you know, and they fall. They're not really. <laughs> yeah, that is the hardest thing now. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a little bit, not as good as Mrs. Merton. I'm learning, you know, I'm an right. apprentice at the game. But good. I've got my own chat show now, and mm -hmm. it's very hard, do you know? Have you got your own chat show? Full of surprises, aren't I? No, but the thing is, once you've punched them, what are you going to do? <laughs> The biggest, problem with my, the biggest problem with my new chat show is having people you like on. How can you warm to somebody? You can't have your nan on every week. Vinny, <laughs> <laughs> I'll never hear a bad word said against you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? The fabulous, lovely Vinny Jones. <laughs> make tonight. <laughs> I'd like to thank both my guests, boy George and Vinnie Jones. Join us next week to see who sat on the sofa of dreams. Play us out the Cottage Trio. And Mrs Merton returns to BBC One next Friday night at 20 past 10. On BBC One, we have a programme that's quintessentially British. Over here in the US of A, we're getting ready to receive the biggest showbiz sensation. Live from New York, Noel's House Party. Starring Joan Rivers, speechless with a gotcha. David Hasselhoff with his clothes on. And the crinkly Copacabana with Barry Manilow. Noel's New York House Party, Saturday at 7 on BBC One. A short guide to comparative European literature. And, um, rugby. Strong wind out there today. <laughs> now, tell me, Bert, in Iceland, do they have a chain of frozen food stores?